Hey guys, Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist, and I wanted to talk about return to sport following a rotator cuff repair surgery. So while everybody is different, I can certainly give you some general guidelines with examples of what you can expect. If you're somebody that was involved in an injury, an accident, um, say you fell off a ladder or you were involved in a car accident and on Monday you had a normal healthy shoulder and on Tuesday the shoulder had a rotator cuff tear and you went and had surgery sometime in the next week or two, you're probably going to get back to playing the sports that you love much more quickly than somebody who had been dealing with shoulder pain and progressive degenerative changes for multiple years before they finally decided surgery was the solution. They had the surgery. Now they're trying to recover from a weakened deconditioned state. Age, activity level, um, general health and conditioning, all of these are factors that come into play with how quickly you can get back to the sport that you love. But another factor is how complicated the surgical repair was. I see patients in my clinic who just have a standard, typical rotator cuff repair. The supraspinatus tendon was involved. They have the repair. They're three and a half, four weeks in a sling, sometimes six, and we're, we're getting them back to normal by 12 weeks. Other patients have two or three tendons involved in the repair. Some patients have a biceps tendon involvement. They're not even allowed to actively flex their elbow, let alone move the shoulder for four to six weeks. That person is gonna be much more deconditioned once we're ready to progress the therapy program to return to sport. But in a general time frame, for educational purposes only, I can tell you that the first six weeks, it's about protecting the repair. You're in the sling most of the time, you're protecting the repair site, and you're just trying to keep the rest of the body conditioned. If you want the best opportunity to get back to sport, whatever the sport may be, pickleball, tennis, golf, uh, badminton, you, you name it, you wanna keep the rest of your body as healthy as possible. So a lot of my patients in the clinic, while I'm treating them for the rotator cuff. They're coming in and they're riding the recumbent bike. They're doing the elliptical. They're walking on the treadmill. They're doing leg and lower body strengthening exercises. They're keeping the back and the abs healthy. They're working the other three quarters of the body without sacrificing the rest of it so that they're prepared for when the shoulder repair is ready to get back to function. So first four to six weeks, maximum protection phase. Week six to 12, we're looking at starting to recover range of motion, building strength, reducing pain. After the 12th week, by three months to six months, that's when we can really start the return to sport activities. So whether that's swinging a pickleball paddle, whether that's um, forehand, backhand in tennis, maybe not serving quite yet, a little chipping and putting on the golf course, these are things that you can start doing. And I try to encourage all of my patients, if you have a passion for sport, or a passion for an activity, a hobby, or anything that you enjoy, I try to get my patients back into and around that community as soon as possible. Because there's nothing worse than being kept away from the things that you wanna do. And so if you can start to get back into it, there are so many things that you can do without jeopardizing the healing process. But typically for an average case, six months, eight months, you're back to about 75, 80% of performance. If you lay a good foundation during the recovery, by the time you're at nine months to a year, you're pitching, you're, you're hitting the ball farther, you're swinging the paddle faster than you ever did even before surgery. So I think you can use this opportunity of physical therapy recovery into performance as a way to really propel yourself into better function, better gameplay, better um, performance on the court because you've put the work in. So guys, you know, every setback is an opportunity for an amazing comeback. And I think this is no different. If you have questions about recovery from rotator cuff repair, go ahead and post your questions in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It's completely free and we're really trying hard to get up over a thousand subscribers. Right now we're at about 915, so we're not that far away. Help us get over that hump. And just let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see related to rotator cuff repair recovery. Catch you guys on the next video.